guys, Gogzy here and welcome back to another Matchday Vlog. Today it's the Dundee Derby. Dundee United have a flawless record for the start to the season. I've got a friend who is actually playing in the match tonight in Louis Appert. He'll be playing for Dundee United I'm sure. Uh, and of course um, I've got a lot of friends who support Dundee so it's going to be a very interesting situation for myself and just remember the end that I sit in is not my inclination in Dundee. I, I don't have any preference because I'm in neutral today. Yeah, I'm just really looking forward to the game. Dundee have got one win and two draws from their first three games as well so the, both sides are undefeated. But it's a really, for me, it's a battle between Danny Johnson and Lawrence Shankland up front for both sides because it'll be between whoever scores most out of them, I think, that will decide the tie. Anyway, guys, I'm going to catch that train. We're going to meet for a squandra about half three and we're just going to get some drinks and I'm really looking forward to it, as I said. Anyway, as I'm a neutral, I'm on the wheel and let's get cracking. There we go. Derby day. Trasquandro. What are you saying to it today? Fucking love. Aye. What's the score going to be? No, yeah. They got one now, right? Aye. Say again, what? the opportunity to supplement the away fans atmosphere it's been really good uh, so far it's seven o'clock I'm heading up to Tanadice I'm sitting in the home end today uh, pretty much because I got offered a ticket in the home end I thought well I don't have a season ticket for Dundee so I can't get one in the away end until it was announced in general sale so I'm really looking forward to the game uh, just see a neutral perspective of the game so there's Dens Park and then straight away down here is Tanadice for tonight's game.
these again the pre-match tradition of getting changed the home ground is Hart strike yes and Hart scores through to Cammy Smith on the right a power battling instead as the ball rebounded in a pair 25 yards out slips it into the area Cammy Smith onto the left foot yes and that will be number six Further, uh, my mate Ben uh, actually has already uploaded his vlog and it's got 20,000 views. Uh, so, congrats to him, man, and uh, the link is in the description down below if you want to check that out after this video. So, Dundee United 6, Dundee 2. Now, this game, I must say, the Dundee Derby is one I've been looking to tick off for a while and I was not disappointed. The atmosphere was incredible. I mean, compared to a Lanarkshire derby, which is what I have to put up with, uh, to be honest, our rivals, local rivals, are irrelevant to us. But when it's a whole city, depending on the result, that's the definition of bragging rights. As a big advocate of attacking football, I thought United produced an absolute masterclass and blew Dundee away. And although I thought Dundee actually had the game at one each, I thought Dundee were going to push for a second goal. But as soon as Louis Apare scored to make it 2-1, and by the way, that finish is so understated. The fact that he still had to chest the ball up and then volley it in off the bar. He still had so much to do before he actually scored. Uh, that that goal was crucial in the game. I think that is the goal that kick-started United's revival into the game and boy, they took the game by the scruff of the neck. In my opinion though, it was more of the case of United were that good instead of Dundee were that bad. I actually thought Dundee were actually semi alright. I mean, they weren't nay gonna get anything out of the game but they still I don't think they were that bad to concede six goals but United were relentless in their attack and I'm a big fan of that as I said that is a title winning performance in any league to score six goals against your local rivals uh, and just 
produce a performance like that got my money's worth and that was just a sensational game. As for the Dundee fans that are watching this still, I um, I mean, thanks, but uh, I, I still think Dundee will make the playoffs, or they definitely will. The thing is though, there's only four games played so far in the championship, although if United are turning on performances like that every week, they're not going to drop however many points they're already ahead by and all their teams are going to struggle to make up for that. But yeah, that was a fantastic game. I would never experience an atmosphere like that at a Motherwell game. And I want to thank Jamie for getting me a ticket for that game because that was absolutely amazing. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below for more of the snazzy content. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Gogs89, a bit of a shoe See you later guys, take care.